I went by this 2019 Super Duty pickup truck to bring it home only to find out that Sync 3 is horrible. But today, we're gonna show you how to fix it for free and without going to the dealership. Stick around. This Lariat F350 is a super nice truck, but with the Sync 3 system being extremely laggy, and I mean to the point where it was almost non-responsive, you really couldn't even hardly use it anymore. So it really, <laughs> I just bought this truck and now I got a radio I can't use. It really makes you feel bad about your purchase. With that being said, I started looking for fixes for the Sync 3 and everything was leading me to an APIM module. And the APIM module, you gotta pull your dash apart and it's the back of the radio. And it's almost a thousand dollars to replace this. So I was really looking, looking hard to find something that I could do to try and fix this system. And I came across a video by a fellow by the name of Coltsway. His channel's name is Coltsway. And he had a Sync 3 upgrade that he did to his and it makes it look just like mine now. This It makes it look like the new Ford Sync. <laughs> the radio. You can see now that it looks brand new. It looks like a 2020 model or newer. The, the heated, uh, heated steering wheel button is now on the front page, which is really nice. And everything loads right away. There is no more lag in this system. It's really nice to be able to use it and have everything just work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna show you exactly how to download the program so you can put it in your truck. And I will also link Colt's video down at the bottom in the description because since I've already done mine, he will actually show you how to put it in the truck. But I will show you exactly what to do on your computer. And remember to follow the instructions step by step and it'll be a breeze and you'll have your Sync 3 looking just like mine and working. I'm gonna show you step by step exactly how to download this onto a thumb drive and exactly what you need to do. So what we're gonna do is Google search Cayenne Labs Sync 3. You can see I've spelled it in already. Sync 3 Updater. Now, this brings you to this page. Sync 3 Updater 2.0 updates with ease. Now, if you look down on the right side of the screen, you will see System 3 Updater Installer. We click on that, and our download begins. Okay, once we got that downloaded, we'll open it. Do we want to let it change the computer? Yes, we do. We'll go to next and install. So it's going to launch the system and it's going to create a uh, the thing on the home screen. I can't think of it right now. All right, so now that we got that downloaded, you will see it is here on the home screen and it brings you to this page automatically. So what we want to do is, not the information, is it, please read and accept disclaimer. All right, so you click here, I understand and accept all risks. So if you, you follow what we did, we went to the home and here we are. Now, I can't really show you the build that I have in my truck to do this because it's a newer one. But I have a picture here of what it looked like before. And all you have to do to get to, to this information is go to your settings in your sync system and get to a, the uh, find the bar that says about sync. And it'll show you. So my build is the 19205 sync 
3 software version 3.0 so what we're going to want to do is put those numbers in right here so it's going to be 3.0 let's see let's start that over 3.0 point nineteen two oh five all right and now we want to go to America because we are in the good old United States now my truck has navigation so right now navigation is turned off so we want to turn on the navigation now we're going to plug in our thumb drive that's where we're going to want to save this to download location all right so we're gonna make sure this is in English United States theme download connections all right the rest of this can stay like this so we go to apply settings and now we'll select our drive this is our USB stick new version United States alright and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and put in the newest one we were and it tells you we recommend using 21 265 so that's the newest one they're recommending right now so let's find 21 265 right here map version we're gonna go with the 2020 all right so now we can hit start and you'll see answering incorrectly could result in your AP APM module being bricked is your car manufactured in 2020 or newer so this only works on the 17 through the 19 super duties that have the three the sync 3 system so we do indeed have the sync 3 so now it's going to format my stick. All right, and it is downloading. Okay, now this is where we're gonna stop. You'll see preparation of the login USB drive uh, completed successfully. Remove the USB drive from your computer and insert it into your car and ensure the ignition is on. So I'm not gonna go do that because I did just upgrade mine and I am afraid to mess with this thing system. You've seen there that if you answer some stuff wrong or if you do anything wrong, you could potentially brick your system. And we don't, I don't wanna brick my system, but I can assure you this is exactly how it did and it works. So you hit okay, you pull out your USB drive and you go to your truck and you plug it in where you would plug in your phone at into the USB. And what it'll do, once the truck's running, automatically it will start to download it'll see it and it'll go through it don't pull out your stick until it reboots when it reboots you come back upstairs or <laughs> go back to your computer or you can have your computer in your truck with you i suppose now you put the usb drive back in the computer and you hit okay see it's not seeing the items on mine because i didn't go back and put it in my truck so after you hit okay it'll start to download again now with my truck having navigation it took about 45 minutes to download from the computer and what i did is i went back to the truck started the truck um and i inserted the card again the stick and immediately it starts up and it starts to reboot and it tells you to remove the usb do not remove the usb when it says it because it will continue to upload and it will take about 45 minutes if you have navigation to upload so right away it'll tell you to remove it do not remove it just let it keep doing its thing and the radio will indeed reboot after about 45 minutes and it will look like the 2020 system it'll look brand new and it'll act brand new if you have a laggy sync 3 system that you're looking to try and, and replace or get repaired by the dealership don't 
this works i've been running it for over a week now just to make sure everything was good with it and i didn't want to steer you guys in the wrong direction because these radios are expensive and i didn't want anybody to mess anything up but i can assure you this works guys go check out cold Sway video he'll show you the install in the truck i wish i'd have recorded it i didn't i was a little antsy about my radio working but this is exactly how to do it just follow the directions exactly make sure you put in the proper information with your build number go find it in the general settings and it'll be sync information do that and it's going to work great for you i hope this helped you out this might save you some some time and some money from the dealership if you enjoy my content please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up maybe even turn on a notification bell so you know when i release more videos in the future uh i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got something out of it this will definitely fix your radio till next time y'all i'll see you it's really nice and another thing i like that they added with the new sink is they put the they put the hearing wheel steeder but see <laughs>